I have to say guys, even though the shorts are so big for me, if they were my size, can you just look? I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't wear the shorts and the puffer jacket. It's almost two different seasons. This would be worn more in the autumn, winter, and this in the summer. So it wouldn't really be a look I'd wear at the same time, but it looks amazing together. This print I'm so obsessed with. Who else is obsessed with this print? Isn't it beautiful? I mean, look at the map of Paris all over this. Isn't it lovely? I mean, I, you have to love Paris as well if you like this print, and I absolutely do. <gasps> yep, so I'm also going to try on the, the lighter version of the trench. There's two. This is the unlined one. Let's see how they look. and you can look over the balcony like this. It's really nice up here actually. It doesn't feel so packed as downstairs is. Actually, we're here in the midweek and it's not as busy as I thought it would be considering the weather today is very bright and sunny. I think it is predicted to rain, but for now I am in my t-shirt, my Jadior t-shirt. Yeah, and I thought I'd come back. This is my second trip back here at the Prada Cafe and so far so good. It looks like the cakes that we wanted last time are actually in stock this time. So let's see what we're going to order today. I haven't had much to eat this morning, so on purpose. So I'm going to have a savoury to start with, a cocktail and then the cake. So yeah, come and enjoy it with me. So today, this is the cocktail of choice. I'll tell you what it's called. It is on the signature side of the menu. And it's called the Tuscan Blossom. So it's gin, elderflower, peach liqueur, lime, rosemary, oleo soda, and prosecco. And I have to say, it's very botanical. It is very light and I do recommend it. The last time I was here, I had a bitter in love and this one is very refreshing, perfect for the warm weather. So cheers. So we've just ordered our savory, it's just arrived. So before I show you what it is, I will tell you what it is on the menu. So on the menu, I ordered the Tramazzini soft crustless white bread in the savory selection. And it is the Faro Island smoked salmon, butter and lemon for £9.50. And I have to say, it's really cute. If you don't want something too filling, it's a perfect little size. Have a look. It's so cute, even the wrapper is branded with Prada. Oh. Right, 
So I've just finished my savoury dish for the first course and it was the tramezzini. And how much was that again? That was £9.50 for the smoked salmon option. And I have to say, if you have had a light breakfast, I had a breakfast, I had a, what did I have today? I had granola with almond milk and I thought that the portion that I showed you was enough especially if you're here for cake our table setting was one o'clock and as i said last time who has cake that early in the day maybe you do i don't it's about two about two o'clock now so we're going to order our cake and let's see what they have they do actually have a lot of the flavors in stock if you look over the balcony i'll show you in a minute it doesn't look like they've got the strawberry this time but have a look So it looks like they've got the tiramisu, they've got the tiramisu this time, they've got the pistachio, they have the janduja, which is the blue one, chocolate hazelnut inside, they've got the 72% chocolate and they also have the lemon, they don't look like they've got much of the lemon today since my last vlog coming here they seem to have more stock of the cakes which is great Janduja cake. Inside this cake you've got cocoa chocolate sponge, crunchy hazelnut and a vanilla Bavarian cream. Should we tuck in? Let's have a little look around, see what's new. Oh, these are lovely, bright colours. And what do we think? Gorgeous little Alma bag here. Like I said before, there's a lot of fuchsia pink this season, girls and guys. What do we think? Quite like the colour. It's not really not something that I tend to buy, but I do appreciate it on other people. This is the second drop of the Yayoi Kusama collection. That's the on the go over there on the right. And then the capuchin at the back. The twist on the top and the cup is seen in the middle. They've still got the black with the polka dots. And then they've got a lot more fuchsia and black. This is the Never Full with the black canvas, pink and black base. And a lot more with the pale blue and the polka dot white, which is quite nice for summer. Guys, look how gorgeous the lilac is coming up on the Cousin for Louis Vuitton. It's £3,400 and this is the medium sized. And I just love it that they've paired it back with the white shoes because like I said in my last vlog, which I put up in the corner, lilac goes so well with white, especially for spring summer. But you can wear it again with dark blue denim jeans, even black, but I would say more the white or the stonewashed denim colour would really let this colour sing. Beautiful. Have a look what's on top as well. Look at the twist bag up there. It's gorgeous. Let me give you a close up. The hardware is actually quite rainbow effect. We've got 
got the Cousart here in a lovely large size. Haven't seen that for a while with the pale blue. And then on the other side, oh, you've got the rainbow. Let's have a quick look at this. Look at this twist, guys, with the rainbow hardware. The twist, I love that. That is lovely. Remind you of the Chanel limited edition classic flap they had a while ago at the Rainbow Hardware. Guys, in Chanel Harrods, have a look at the colours here. Absolutely lovely with the rich berries and reds. Really beautiful, paired back with the whites. And then the 22 in the silver hardware with the black stitching. What do we think? I'm not such a fan of the 22, but I do appreciate it. But this raspberry pink classic flap is just heavenly. Lots of SLGs. And I actually have to say, I'm quite surprised that they've got a lot of classic flaps on display. Obviously not in black, but definitely in the season full colors. So I'm on my way to Dior. I've got an appointment with my SA on the first floor, Super Brands. And I thought I'd take you with me because, as you all know, I've been incredibly obsessed about a couple of their capsule collections that they've launched. And we are going in to see what my essay has held for me. I'm so obsessed. Come with me. Let's see. Right, guys, I'm at Dior in Harrods. Let's have a look at the windows today. Today is the last day of the Plan de Paris window displays. So I'll just show you the window before it changes this evening. I mean, look at that trench. Isn't that gorgeous? Completely sold out everywhere. And let's have a look at this window here. And here they are. The most beautiful book totes ever. And guys, I've got something to say. This book tote is completely sold out in the whole of the UK and Europe, but once it gets pulled down from the shop display windows this evening, my SA has bookmarked this for me. I'm so obsessed. She is awesome. So if you're watching, massive thank you to you. And the new collection that was showcased in India has just launched. Look at the medium book tote right in front of me, guys. This is the Toile de Joy and the colors are just insane. With deep greens, blacks, purples, what do we think? Is it your cup of tea? I do like this color, but for me, I, I really do like the black and whites and seasonless colors, whereas this for me is quite season driven. Let's have a look here. So this is inspired by India. You've got a nod to the Hindi writing here. Have a look. You've got all the bright colors from India and the elephant in the middle, very sacred animal from the country. And this is in the large. If I step back, have a look. They're actually presented on bamboo elephants. And then in the main window, you've got all of the pigmented brights, the fuchsia pinks and the magentas. Let's have a closer look. Oh, you've got, what is that? Is that a tiger or is that a bear? Could even be a lion. Look at the colors, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect color of pink. This color has been so prevalent this season. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, the windows are exquisite. They have a peacock here and the artisanal cutwork windows at the back made from probably rosewood or sandalwood from India them itself. And these gorgeous, I wonder if these are for sale, these gorgeous cushions, but look at the D-Light bag. That again is the Toile de Joy in the new season colors. This one, I'm not sure what this print is called, but this is also brand new. And let's have a close-up of these flat shoes with an elasticated ankle strap. Quite like those actually. But yes, I love the display guys. Beautiful. Let's go inside. <laughs> gorgeous dark denim drill isn't it beautiful with the embroidery with the cutouts stunning this is the classic denim jacket with the christian dior on the back beautiful 
You've got the classic oblique in the large here, book tote. And then the beautiful knitted monogrammed tops. Right guys, what do we think? This is the Toile de Joy in the new season for autumn winter. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, the colours in real life, seeing it in front of the window is something else. But have a look at the actual colours close up. I mean, if you like your purples and your dark pinks, your grapes and your blues, you really can't go wrong with this. What do we think? Look very nice with just a plain black outfit. This one is 2,650. What do we think? Do we like that? I have to say it's a lovely colour, but I'm so still obsessed with the black and white from the previous collection, Plan de Paris. Right, let's have a little close-up of the new collection, shall we? The colours are so vibrant. They are very jewel-like, like the colour here is like a deep amethyst purple. What's this? It's a little pair of tailored shorts in the same print of the bag that I just showed you. And some tailored trousers with pin tuck front. I'm not showing you the prices today. I thought I'd show you the actual products. Oh, this is quite nice. The actual blouse. It's quite a long tunic. What do we think? I mean, I do love long tunics, especially with black jeans. Actually, I like that. Really nice colours. I'll share the price with you afterwards. But that is very nice. Very easy to wear even beyond the season. If you wanted to wear it next year, you could. <laughs> £3,200 and you've got it in the purple and in the fuchsia pink. Gorgeous simplicity as well amongst all of the colours. Oh, they've got the classic Kristen Dior jumper in pink. Let's have a look. I mean, if you love this colour, you really can't go wrong with this collection, guys. What do we even think? This is also the popular print of the season. Let's see, it's called Jersey T-shirt 830 and have a look at the print. Very much inspired by India. That's pretty little touch with the Kristen Dior B. And the denim as well. Oh, that's nice. It's just plain at the front and printed at the back. They've got a lot more of the Christian Dior monogrammed knitwear, which is lovely because personally being a fan of the short sleeve 1800 pound knitwear tops, this is a fine gauge knitwear and it's slightly cheaper, 1100 And if I just show you it without unfolding it, it is a long sleeve and you have it in pink and purple and lime. Gorgeous if you like the colours. Have a look and see what Plan de Paris they've got in stock. They've got this gorgeous bomber jacket and the shorts. I'm actually going to try these on and this one in black. Look at this. And then the satin blouse as well. Oh, they have got the trench. Let's have a little look. 7,800. I'm here inside Dior and we've got the entire room to ourselves which is so awesome. My essay in this store, if you're watching my love, I absolutely love you. You really do look after me and yes, we're in this amazing boutique. Here we have the collection of the moment on display, on repeat. It's absolutely insane. And then over here you've got the Plan de Paris which has just finished. So they are sending back a lot of the items back to Paris now. And in the other room over here, hello, is the current collection, which I've just shown you. Most 
successful collections that they've launched and everything's almost sold out so I've heard that hopefully this print is on the way to becoming classic print so for everyone who's missed out on some of the items that you wanted in this print hopefully you'll be able to get it when it comes back in so let's have a little try on then shall we right guys this is absolutely gorgeous this is the bomber jacket with the most deliciously high-waisted ribs on the side and on the back and it's just so lovely it's in a nylon fabric with two bust pockets are they real yes they are two functional pockets and rib collar and rib cuffs and when you open it it just still keeps its silhouette i think it's stunning so i'm going to try a larger size on to see if that would do anything different but it's designed to be quite cinched in as per Christine Dior so you know it's all about the silhouette with Dior the waist the really cute waist with the puffed out hips so this would be my actual size but let's see if they have the larger size right guys this is the size 44 so the first one I tried on was a 38 and the only other size they have is this one which is 44 and it still does the job of cinching me in but this size is I think one or two sizes too big to my preference. I feel a little bit like I'm wearing an American baseball jacket. It's quite puffy. So I don't think, I don't know if that will get on my nerves, but what do we think? Which size do you prefer? Let me have a little debate on the size. Right, unfortunately, these shorts are too big. This is a size 44 and they don't have any other size, I don't think. I mean, you can see the fabric here. I'd need at least two sizes smaller. But yes, for anyone who would like to see how this looks in reality, this is the Plan de Paris shorts. I have to say, guys, even though the shorts are so big for me, if they were my size, can you just look? I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't wear the shorts and the puffer jacket. It's almost two different seasons. This would be worn more in the autumn, winter, and this in the summer. So it wouldn't really be a look I'd wear at the same time, but it looks amazing together. This print I'm so obsessed with. Who else is obsessed with this print? Can you drop some comments below and let me know what you think of this print? Isn't it beautiful? I mean, look at the map of Paris all over this isn't it lovely i mean I, you have to love paris as well if you like this print and i absolutely do <gasps> yep so I've, i'm also going to try on the lighter version of the trench there's two this is the unlined one let's see how they look beautiful what do we think it's actually finely lined and it's really really easy to wear what do we even think this is the size 40 so it's a little bit a line on me I quite like it guys i'm absolutely obsessed look what my essay has found for me this is the plan de paris medium book tote and this is the one that was in the window and she's been absolutely incredible and put my name on it. So this is the final bag in the medium in the whole of Europe. I am absolutely obsessed. What do we think? I'm trying on the bomber jacket again. This is a size 38, but it's a little bit small, I think. I think I need a bigger size. <laughs>
just thought I'd show you the Plan de Paris print is also embroidered onto knitwear. I mean, isn't this the most exquisite thing you've ever seen? Look at the workmanship. This would have obviously had to be machine embroidered, but it's just stunning. It's beautiful. Quick outfit of the day. Today I'm wearing a Zara trench. It's an oversized style, so I like to hitch it up on the sleeves. Quite nice when it's three quarter sleeve. I've got my black Christian Dior saddle belt bag that I bought in Vista Village, and then I'm wearing the black matte black strap for the bag, which you can also use for a saddle bag, a regular saddle bag, and it's reversible. So you've got Christian Dior on the inside, which you can't see at the moment, but I've chosen to wear this side today. My Jadio 8 t-shirt inside and a Topshop pencil skirt in denim and my Nike Air Force Ones, which I absolutely live in when I need to do a lot of walking. I'd actually just tried this pink trench on. I'll just pan across and show you. I did love this. It's my favorite pink color in the world with the oblique inside, but because it's such a heavyweight cotton, it's really like a functional trench. I prefer to wear trench coats when it's quite lightweight as this one is from Zara. So I won't be buying that one, but yeah, hope you liked the footage that I've shown you today. And let's see if we buy anything. And in Dior Ready to Wear, this is what they have upstairs. I mean, I've said this before guys, but there's so much pistachio green everywhere. This is a gorgeous green color. And this is part of the new collection, the collection that was filmed in India with the catwalk, lovely. <gasps> Look at that denim saddle bag. Let's have a closer look, shall we? That is just exquisite. Look at that. Denim saddle bag. And then their classic cream and green. Let's have a little look at these beautiful mini Lady Dior's in the croc print in white as well. Completely loving the white for spring, aren't you? Yeah. What do we think? gorgeous. There's the sage green again. And the ostrich. <gasps> Exotic skins on this side of the wall. This is also part of the new collection and this as well. So look at that guys. Isn't that stunning? Lots of purples, greens and blues for the new season. everyone for your love likes views and comments if you haven't subscribed already please do drop me a comment below let's have a little natter absolutely love fashion if you don't know already and let me know if you'd like to see anything in particular next time and i will see you soon so have a great week lots of love <laughs>